of death. And you think you're going right, but the end thereof is the ways of death. That's why you got to know what you're doing. This is serious. And you have those that cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. You have a right to avoid them because a lot of men are, are prideful and, and looking at trying to get people to follow them. Or you belong to them. Let's get something straight here. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 29. Lead us, Lord. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, 29. Let's read that in the law. So you know. And thou shalt grope at noonday. It's one of the curses. As a blind grope in darkness. And you can't see. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways from breaking the laws of the Most High. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. That's what I want, that little right there. You hear that? No man shall save thee. Once again, no man shall save thee. So people are looking at you got to have something tangible. You got to see something. So you see a man, so you oh, that's going to be my savior right there. You know, put him up on his pedestal above the most high and the most high was shy. No man shall save thee. And understand this, because he ain't coming back as a man. That's why it says in Isaiah 47 and 3. Take thy neck and it shall be uncovered. Talking about this wicked system that we in now. Talking about the Edomite system. Thy neck is you're going to be exposed For all the wickedness that you're doing Yeah Thy shame shall be seen See I will take vengeance And I will not meet thee As a man See coming in his angelic power The judge will make war Against all those That don't come back To his law statute commandments And being justified in your faith In Masha Yahushua so he ain't coming back as a man. That's why we ain't gonna be saved by no man. You hear that? So he's gonna take vengeance. He's not coming back as a man. So we ain't gonna be saved by no man. He ain't coming back as a man. What man, what man you think gonna come, gonna save us from the condition that the most high put us in? Why? Because we didn't follow him. But you won't follow man. That's why my second shot said a man coming his own name, you'll follow him. That's why everybody lifting up men. Instead of the Most High, who is highly exalted, Hamashiach, to have a shot and give him a name above every name. Who teach it on him? Who really going into him? And who really going into the Most High? And who going into his laws? Those are his laws that we're supposed to follow. Very important. A man will lead you down a path of destruction. That's why the Most High said you got to study, show yourself approved. That's why you're supposed to get these precepts and study for yourself. It's very important that you come up on a high level of learning so you could be saved. You can't depend on nobody else to bring you through this. It's all about you making it for yourself. Look, in Ecclesiastes 12 and 6 in the pocket. For the most high hate of sinners, that's those that break his laws. He hates you. So how he love people that's saying, follow me, and they wicked. And they telling you ain't under the law, you're under mercy and grace. And telling you a Gentile. And even those that's in the truth that are sinners. For the most high hate of sinners. And will repay vengeance unto the unrighteous and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. See? Keeping them for a special day to punish them. That's why it's very important to not be 
causing division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. Look at Ecclesiastes 25 and 2. It's on page 85 you have the Red Apocalypse. It says, Three sorts of men my soul hateth. You hearing that tonight? The Most High said, Three sorts of men the Most High soul hateth. And I am greatly offended at their life because I hate that they live in. You know? A poor man that is proud. You know? A poor man that's proud. Now, most of the brothers are poor. So, what gives you the right to be prideful? That's why you got to understand pride. Because most people that uh, will tell you that you can't listen to no one else, you only can deal with us, that's why they call us a cult. Because you only can deal with this fashion of Israelite. You have your own way that you're going to bring people in. We know in part and prophesy in part of this. And sisters. So we got to look at uh, look at Hebrews, the sixth chapter. No. Let's look at Hebrews 5 and 5 first. So also Mashiach glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. The Most High said that. But see, the reason why I'm here because Mashiach that was shot didn't glorify himself. Philippians 2, the second chapter. It's very important. Because this is the mindset that we should have. Philippians 2 and 3. It said, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Don't let it be, nothing be done through strife, going back and forth with somebody, arguing back and forth, and looking for some type of glory that's vain that's worthless most i said he hate a poor man that's prideful so a poor man looking for glory in the hell come on y'all don't hear me though i know you don't hear me but somebody gonna hear because they ain't going to avoid that's the word the most high it said let nothing be done through strife or vain glory but in lowliness of mind that's in humility let each esteem other better than themselves. I mean, you ain't looking for nothing. You ain't looking for nobody to look up to you. You're looking to try and uplift someone. But well, some people can't be uplifted because they're too prideful. They can't see the uplifting. And those that are humble will be able to be lifted up. To look not on every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others. Not just what you have, but the things that other people have. And in the truth, you gotta look at what is it you can do to help bring forth the truth, to help someone else see this. Works. When the book is open, you gonna be judged. And hopefully we have enough done that the most I say, hey, put his name in the book of life. Put her name in the book of life. Because she's worthy, she's one of my servants. She's my friend. He's my friend. He's my servant. But it's not gonna happen if you are looking to looking for fame and fortune and all that stuff here on your own. It's gonna happen. But let the most high do it. Let the most high be true. And every man a liar. That's what you want to try and be somebody in this hell for. He said, come out of her, my people. Some people trying to be someone. They trying to looking around. I mean, this is this is it. I mean, I always say, what would happen if the most I take away your voice? Take away your ability to walk. Take away your ability, I'm talking about to the teachers. All you that want to be somebody in hell. Oh yeah, you know we always taught this condition called hell. 
and now you want to exalt yourself to be somebody that you ain't if you ain't with me then you ain't dealing in the truth are you serious you can't be serious if someone that's overseas ain't never stepped foot in America know this truth learning this truth have learned grew up in the truth we scattered among all nations. Oh yeah, we everywhere. And you ain't step foot in their country. You ain't step nowhere near them, and you're gonna tell them that they're not they're not gonna be redeemed because they're not with your church. I mean, that's what I heard all my life. This is our covenant. They put it on the wall. This is what we believe right here. And when you go pay all outside of that covenant, then they excommunicate you. That's in the secular churches. And here we are, Israel supposed to be the light to the whole world. And we worse than that. Say, look not every man on, the, on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach. Mashiach. Yahweh shot. Did know the Savior. That's what he did. To the point where he gave his life up for us. No greater love than a man to lay down his life for his brother. That's why he say, hey, ain't no, nobody hard gonna lay down their life for no wicked man, sure. <laughs> he said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach El Shai, who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, meaning he was the son of the Most High. That's what that's talking about. Because St. John 10, and 30 says, I and my father are one. In the same mind, they agree. That's why we have to agree. It says, but made himself of no reputation. Hear that? He wasn't looking for fame and fortune or, or trying to be somebody in hell. He was in hell when he came, he was born on this earth. Under whose rulership? Under the Romans, the so-called white man, the so-called Italian Caucasians, the Edomite rule. Just like we under their rule. It's the white man's world. It's Esau's world. It's the Edomite's world. This ain't none of our world. What the Mashiach was shy world? He said, this is my world. My servants will fight. So when he come back to set up his world, his servants going to fight. Oh, yeah. He's coming back with 200 million angels. And with the spiritual power that he's going to give those that are humble enough to know that we working to get ourselves together we got a thousand years with him to learn of the heavenly father and having a broken and contrite spirit before the most high humility before the most high those are ones that he gonna have to be ruling this world forever and ever not no high-minded suckers can't tell them nothing they 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 they, they hold it and die and that's why I hear about a lot of Israelites. That's why I had to check myself back in the 90s. Inquire to the Most High for our people. And repent. You've got to repent, people. Ask for forgiveness. But oh, if you don't have to ask for forgiveness, then you think you're perfect. Most of his, his labor is over with you, right? He says he's laboring to make us perfect. So he's laboring. So if he's laboring and the Mashiach Shai got to come back and take a thousand years to show us of our Heavenly Father, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you already got it, what, what you need a Mashiach Yahweh Shai for? So the people only need you, right? Talking to you leaders. All the people need is you. They don't need a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Because you already got it together. So where are you fitting at? Oh, that's right. You under a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Are you, you somewhere in there? You already made yourself. The scripture said, dare not make thyself one of the number. See, there's a lot that you got to learn. As we reading here, 
And Philippians 2 and 7 said, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. A servant. And was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion of a man, he, Mashiach Yahweh humbled himself. What did it say? Verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach Yahweh Verse 8, and being found in fashion of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, the Most High also hath highly exalted him. See, he had highly exalted him. Why? He humbled himself. Come on. A lot of division and the, the, the offenses are because of pride. People's feelings get hurt so easy because you're so sensitive. You're so, uh, your brother's so infeminine. A lot of y'all are infeminine. That's why you can't be corrected. You be corrected. No, you got problems now. Because you want to be working, operating in chaos. That's what's going to come to you. Most I do know. He tell me you want everything to be done decent and in order. And when that chaos comes, you know it's coming. A lot of you know it's coming. Which, how you going to be in order then? How you going to be humble then when you're not humble now? How that's going to happen? Some kind of dust going to fall in the air, then I'm, I'm humble now. No, you better be working on it now. Verse 5, let this mind be in you which was also in the Mashiach Yahweh shot. Verse 8, Philippians 2 and 8, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the Most High unto death, even the death of the cross. Well, for the Most High, by him humbled himself, also have ex highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Shema Mashiach Yahushua, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that a Mashiach Yahushua is the power. Why? To the glory of the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, not because we got this Bible open and we going through these scriptures, but now much more in my absence, when the book is closed. You gotta apply this in your life. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See that? Gotta work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So I said, a righteous scarcely gonna be saved. Come on. This ain't something that's just you just learn the scriptures now, so now you it's sad because people think that. Y'all think all you do is, oh, let me let me memorize this like you did in school. And now I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm all right now. You better apply this. That's why it's in his absence. When the book is closed, now you gotta operate correctly. That's why it tells you in Matthew, go to Matthew the 24th chapter. He's a Mashiach Yahushai's words. What did he say? Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity, wickedness, evil, spirits, that within people shall abound. It's gonna be plentiful. The love of many shall wax cold. The love of many gonna wax cold. A lot of people don't know what no love is. A lot of people haven't really been loved to love someone else. They ain't been loved, but people been dogged out. So they fear everybody trying to get them. You know, they after me. You you trying to do something to me. Because they don't know love. They don't know love. That's why it says. Because of iniquity, wickedness, evil, people that sin, people that have Satan in their mind, or his imps. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. He's going to be cold blooded. But he that in, shall endure until the end. Not now, but until the end, the same shall be saved. You've got to endure until the end, people. 
1 Corinthians, 1st chapter.